Uh, but yeah, this next one, no, we want the actual game, not the DirectX. <clears throat> oh, that probably needs to run. We'll see. The next one is To Hell With Dave. Listen to that hellacious music. There we go. Um, that is a guy in a gift mask. I'm not going to ask too many questions. So basically my understanding of this game is you, you, you use your own corpse as a way of Getting, plat getting past platforming puzzles. <clears throat> this is a bit distressing out of the gate. Like, I'm a little worried. <clears throat> Not gonna lie. Dave's bedroom. Come, Teddy, sir. We're prepared and ready for battle. Dave is a kid. Well done, comrade. This bear is promoting communism. Good job, bear. It's a very dangerous mission, but we don't have a choice. Let's get this bastard. The fuck is going on? Sorry, Mr. Tooth Fairy. I bet the gnome's drunk off his ass again, and it won't be a pretty sight. I'm going to hell, and you're coming with me. Okay. This is a strange setup. This is a strange setup. This is just the night of odd games, isn't it? Night of very odd games. All right, class, take your seat. This got a certain like South Park personality about it. I just good might not be the right word. I had a horrible weekend. No one cares about your problems, teacher. We're not here to have fun. His name is Mr. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, this game is weird. De definite, like, South Park personality about this whole thing. At least about the setup. Okay, apparently the gimp guy is called Bacon. Among all the slaves of hell, he was the only one who felt anything at all. Okay. Do you think a mole cares about the exciting and beautiful things a butterfly would have to say? Nah, probably not. Nah, moles are very moly.
Okay, you knew right away this wasn't the place. It wasn't just the place he was looking for. Oh, this wasn't just the place. I misread that. I thought we were going on a weird subversion. Instead, we're just going weird. Right in the Library of Time. Okay. What, a vagrant? Over to your helmet. Oh. <laughs> Don't shit on Russell. Visit Father Time in his tower. Okay. Oh, we have a double jump. I'm just gonna keep running to the right because I assume that's what you do. Yeah, here we go. We stick to walls, too. Shortcut. That's how we go in. Hey, Father Time, what's up? Oh, it's you again. And did you bring the golden hair? Yeah, I don't know anything about this. <clears throat> You're lonely searching for a place in life? Well, tough shit. Is there something more important you should be doing right now? Bring me the feather duster from the closet downstairs. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Blop. There it is. This double jump is like a little shallower than I kind of expect. Okay, we have the feather duster. The old man was clearly confused. So, sure, we'll dust the hourglass. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Or we can just cake it. Well, we fucked up time. Okay. Womp womp. Hmm. Don't think you have much of a future being in a cage. But in the end, we're all just weak willed puppets to our own primal instincts, says the talking pig. Think of it like a business. I'm a capitalist and I'll make you pay for this. Womp womp. I hope I didn't bore you too much. <sighs> I fear there was a way to, like, break it. Break ourselves out. It would be silly otherwise. Hello. Let me show you around the dungeon. Okay. <clears throat> 
Show me what to do! Jump into the tiny gaps between the spikes. Yeah, you can't do that. When you die, you are pretty much dead after hat. Everything that has gone before is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Don't do anything stupid. Oop. And there's your core mechanic. There we go. Hey, we only had to die the one time. We're good. Bloop. Hey, skeleton. Found the gallows rope. Press and hold Y to use the rope. Suicide to hold down a button. Makes sense. Press B to kick things with your foot. And since our corpse is smaller than we are, You kick it. Logical, in video game logic terms. Now we have to come down here. Ta-da! Easy peasy. Bloop. Oh, that, the arrow's saying go that way. We're going this way. Why do I feel like I actually do need to go this way? Like, there's gonna be a thing over here that I need. There's not. There's a toilet. Ah. Mistimed it. Press and hold right button to make your ghost disappear. I supposed to do this one? There we go. Just a timing thing. Just patience. 
Mm. Okay. I think that ghost will still... still activate that. So now I just have to go through the room, like, several times. Like, there isn't a way to go any faster than this. Unfortunately. Okay. This is a room. I don't think I want to go up. All right. Now I need to... See, on the upside, it got lost a bit, so I have time. I don't know how long. Oh, it lasts indefinitely. That's apparently the solution, just Eat TNT. And then don't stand near it. I guess don't stand near it. I see, I see. Can I stand on my corpse in here, though? I have to wait for the corpse to happen. Or wait. Idea. That I can't do now, but... Wait until we get... You have to transfer the fire. You can only go down. Well, this is a room. Oh, it's you. I'm Alex. I'm the guy working on To Hell With Dave. Okay. That's the end of the demo. 
ว่าว่าว่า I mean that's one way to end it sure slightly abrupt but yeah that's that's one way to end it I thought we were gonna get through the boss fight like it started and then just abruptly no you're done um yeah like I like I kept saying there is a definite uh like South Park kind of perspective and sense of humor and style and all that so if you're cool with that, then great. If you're not, then now you know. Um, I feel like that gameplay conceit has a problem that... This may just be me, like having a, a certain speedrunning background. Like the one where I had to press four, like four buttons, so I had to go through the room four times and wait... It's like, after the second one, I've under I understood the room. I knew the solution, but I had to wait so long to execute it. And that sort of thing I find a little frustrating, personally. Um, like, it was just that one room, really, uh, that was that bad. But like, that's something to, like, maybe be concerned about with that kind of gameplay mechanic. Um, I will say I personally am not a fan of the personality, but that's me. Um, I'm not going to say it's bad, and I'm going to say it's certainly consistent with it, which is what I always feel is most important when you're, when you're giving a game a certain like voice, a certain style. It's just like own it, lean into it, be legit with it. Um, yeah, the uh, the platforming itself felt fine. Uh, like I said, the the double jump seemed a little shallower than feels na like common, I guess. Uh, the fan is on. Let's see. The, yeah, uh, like the music was, again, fine. Like, I think it fit the tone. Uh, made everything like kind of lighthearted about it. Um, see, I don't. I don't really know where to go with that. Um, I think it's a game that I personally would not play. Like, I'm not really interested in going further with it. Uh, I want to... S I, I kind of want to see how else, like, they approach... Or how, how else they apply the, the concept. Like, using, using your corpse to, to do things. Like, what else can you do with that? Because uh, I would worry that it would get kind of samey. Like, that would be a problem. Um, and I wouldn't want to see that. Uh, see that happen? Um, yeah, I don't really know, like, how... I, I don't know what my own conclusion is on this one. Weirdly. Uh, yeah. Again, I think the personality of it turns me off on, on it, but... Like, that's the personality, not the gameplay. The gameplay seems fine. Uh, and hopefully it would expand, like, the concepts. Um, but that's... That I can't tell from a demo. But look, from this demo, I should say, this one doesn't show like how far they're willing and able to take the concept. I am going to sneeze. <coughs> Saw it coming. Um, 
yeah, so that one I'm like really mixed uh, based on what I know now, based on what the demo has.